Hi, in this video we're going to express this complex number in the form a plus bi. Let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. So we'll start by dealing with this square root of negative 3. In general, if you have the square root of negative a, and a is a positive number, you can write this as i square root of a. If you're curious, the reason you can do that uh, in this case is that the square root of negative 3 is really negative 1 times 3. And we have two numbers, negative 1 and 3. So as long as these aren't uh, both um, negative, we're OK. So we can do this. Like if they're both negative numbers, you can't break up the square root like this. So then this is equal to i square root of 3. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and take this and rewrite it. This is 1 over 6 plus i square root of 3. And so the idea now is we're going to multiply this number by what's called its complex conjugate. So the complex conjugate of a complex number a plus bi is simply a minus bi, like this. So in this case, we want to multiply the bottom by 6 minus i square root of 3. But if you do that to the bottom, you have to do it to the top, right? So we're basically multiplying by 1, right? That way the math is still legit. Multiplying across the top, we have 1 times this expression here, so it's the same thing, 6 minus i square root of 3 over. On the bottom, you could distribute or FOIL if you prefer, but there is a really powerful formula. It tells you that if you have a complex number, a plus bi, and you multiply it by its conjugate, a minus bi, you end up with a squared plus b squared. So a is called the real part of the complex number, and b is called the imaginary part. So you really what you're getting is the real part squared plus the imaginary part squared, kind of an interesting way to phrase it. So 6 squared would be 36, because a is 6, so we get 6 squared, which is 36. And then uh, b is the square root of 3 here, so we square it and we get 3. So you've got to be really careful there again. So it's 6 squared plus square root of 3 squared. Okay, let's keep going. This is 6 minus i square root of 3 over 39. At this point, we can just break it up. It'll be 6 over 39. And then minus i square root of 3 over 39. Right, because it's this over this, then minus, and then this over this. All right, and I think we can simplify a little bit because um, 13 times 3 is 39, and 3 goes into 6 twice, so it goes into 39 13 times. Minus, and let's write it like this, square root of 3 over 39 times i. And now you see it's precisely in that form we wanted, right? We wanted a plus bi. Now, there's a minus here, so if you really wanted to like <laughs> be really picky, no one really does this, but you could, you know, you could say, well, technically, you know, it should be it should be written like this, right? So I mean, uh, but in practice, nobody really does that, so that's what we're not doing. We're just leaving it like this. Most people leave their answers like this, and it's understood that if you really wanted to write it like this, you could you could do something like this. So it's one of those things in math that. Apparently everyone knows, so no one ever writes it this way. <laughs> so I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.